James. 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 Sorry. That's. <laughs> it's <laughs> first impression. Okay, <laughs> hey, Chris. Go on. Sorry, go on, James. <laughs> Sorry, Thank you, Victor. <laughs> um, as a team that's won this competition more than any other team, uh, but some managers look at it as an opportunity to win first piece of silverware, other look at it as a chance to carry on momentum, and other coaches see it as a chance to, to give game time to maybe sport players. Where, where, where do you sit right now in the League Cup? We want to attack this competition, as I said before. Um, one game away from being in the last eight. Um, uh, in in our game, uh, it's really important to have quality in our game, uh, that we have identity in our game. So freshness is really important. Um, so we search for these three, and uh, and um, the lineup tomorrow um, um, will be one who feels the responsibility of this competition and uh, really wants to attack uh, the game tomorrow. As in Tottenham, as Arsenal, this uh, this Wednesday, uh, we have to be in our best in all departments, and I think this uh, lineup will represent that. There's been a lot said about the role of captaincy because of what happened at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday. You, you had a captain that scored an equaliser and kind of galvanised the whole stadium. How, how important is that role of the captain, but also the role of the crowd in supporting a captain rather than attacking the captain? I think, um, anyway, I think. Uh, at Liverpool, we say it's always about three things, no? Um, in life, in general, in, in a football club, uh, good relationships uh, is the base to evolve a club or to evolve a, evolve a team. Um, but as we say in Liverpool, it's about three things. It's uh, the holy trinity, as we call it. Eh? So it's the fans, the manager and, and uh, the squad. And these three have to be really connected. They have to be one. They have to have one idea. They have to understand each other. And... Um, Arsenal Football Club uh, knows much better than me how to deal with this. Eh? But um, what I only can say is that if you if you have Jordan and James Milner as your captains, you don't have to discipline others. They discipline by discipline. If you discip if you're disciplined yourself, you don't have to discipline others. So that's a good saying. And um, yeah. And in terms of the squad and injuries, there's a fear that Joe Matip might be out. Longer yeah. What's the situation? His, his, his knee is still irritated, um, so it will need time um, uh, to settle. Uh, we don't put a time limit, a time uh, on it, but uh, it, it will need a little bit. Um, so he will not be involved. He needs rest. And Shaq is only back uh, after the international break uh, with his calves and the problems he had before. Uh, re-injury is very dangerous, so we want to give him the time to really come back and come back in good fit shape and hunger. Yeah. Just as well, with, with Virgil and Mo after the match, Virgil had kind of a dead leg, and, and Mo's got a, an ongoing problem with the ankle. Yeah, uh, Mo was pure preca precaution because um, his ankle got a little bit tired towards the end of the game, and um, uh, it's and then it then it hurts more. But he's fine, and Virgil is fine as well. And uh, Kevin Callagher, yeah. he's going to get his first start at Anfield. Yeah, special. His second start ever as well. So tell me, why him rather than Adrian as well? And what gives him the confidence that, he, that he's capable of? So uh, for me, consistency is the most important if you want to uh, give players opportunities and, and talent um, uh, a pathway to, uh, to develop. Um, and um, we have uh, Ali as our number one more than a number one I think and um, Adrian did an unbelievable job for us um, I, I said already before we, there's always space for passionate ones at Liverpool FC and he's very passionate in his training but he has to do the job when Ali's not there and we've started this competition and he's the one who, um, who, who will start tomorrow and what is it about him because he's very confident he's only 20 he's even goalkeepers that's yeah. maybe yeah, Aquive is a player, is a goalkeeper who has, um, he's on the line, he's excellent of course, like uh, like everybody already saw, but his calmness to play out, his calmness to um, to find a free player if we play, uh, he's, uh, he just gives um, a very, he's, for his age he's, and for his age as a goalkeeper he's very stable, so that's what we like about him and uh, 
we see uh, an, a good future for him and we want to give him this opportunity and um, you, ne you need these opportunities to grow and that's why, why we give him it. Uh. And just finally for me, I, I know it's always one mm -hmm. match at a time here in Anker, but with so many matches coming up yeah. for you and you've got the World Club Cup coming yeah. up as well, the League Cup and the Champions League, yeah. where's the fine line between rotating the squad and keeping that momentum? How, how will it work for you? Um, first of all, it's not game by game, it's session by session. Uh, that's really important uh, because how we say if we can have good lead up to a game, uh, regain freshness, um, recover well, prepare the team well, whoever the team may be. Uh, we say that 90% uh, of the points are made in the lead up to a game. Um, so it's really important to put that in place and of course um, what I said before, it would not be smart. Um, we, we don't have a big squad, but it would be not be smart. It would not be intelligent. It would not be uh, um, to make this squad even smaller by not using its strengths. And one of its strengths of this squad is the the power of the youth, with uh, a lot of um, a quality experience, and um, uh, that can create unbelievable. Uh, processes and uh, uh, what you saw as well before already. So, yeah. how important is this sort of game for the likes of Alex, Alex Chamberlain, navigator Joe Gomez, who have not had that much game time? So, yeah, you. you um, uh, in the start of the season, we had, uh, of course, not as many games. We could create a real stability around the team and keep uh, many times the same, um, not the same 11, but the same core group. Um, you saw already what it did with Ox by playing game after game, how we uh, contribute in Genk. So that's why it's really important. I think, um, how I said before, from the bench, we want players who come in and really make an impact. Uh, so far we had that and uh, we want to keep that and I think as well that by making a bigger impact in games then um, they need rhythm, they need consistency and uh, it's, a, it's a perfect moment again uh, to change a few things, yeah. And in terms of the younger players which you've also spoken about, um, the form will again take on the last round but how, how well are they equipped to deal with your know, Arsenal to the step up in, in this round? Yeah, again, uh, of course, they have a point to prove and um, the situation where they're in, but we focus only on ourselves. Uh, we want to be the best we can be. And that's one of our strengths, that we always we want to put our game into place. We want to play on the opposition half. We want to dictate play. We want to win the ball back. It's our ball. Um, by focusing on ourselves, um, um, that forces like development so for all these boys that's important and uh, let the opposition worry about us and let us focus on ourselves yeah. it's, a, it's a big step for them from yeah, from the 23 and 21 yeah. to, to this, sort, this sort of thing yeah. how are they able to cope with that uh, I think um, that, that's, that's why it's so important that they are training with us each day the young boys that they are constant in and around the first team how I said before, talent needs models. It doesn't need criticism or coaching uh, mostly. It needs guidance. And if you see the likes, uh, like how Millie or Hendo or Ox, even the, our senior players treat our young players, it creates, a, it creates a natural development for them. They can see with their own eyes uh, the small details, the unwritten rules of Melwood, um, how to prepare for a game. And I think uh, there's not a much more powerful weapon than the examples of, of senior pros. Uh, I think uh, we all think that these boys can make our game better, otherwise they wouldn't play. Um, they, uh, they, can, they have all some specific attributes that will make our game a little bit different in detail. Uh, we, we, we really look forward to that, to see that again. And um, um, we have some special talent. Uh, it would be really not intelligent if uh, we would not use them. We'll go to David and then come to you. Yeah. Yeah, join the club. You know a lot about yeah. him, seen him before. So, what, what impact will he have and work with those special talents? Yeah, for me, it's our best signing this season. Um, 
He's a talented coach, and I will explain why. Eh? But he's a, a very intelligent coach, a talented coach, intelligent coach, intelligent coach. Um, he can make the next step with all these young players. We already see the impact he made on, on, on them. Um, um, having one really intelligent, talented coach for young players, one, 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 he can inspire eight or nine of them. So it's really important to have the right people in front of them. And he, he connects, he not only of course, he influences the boys on the pitch and trains with them, but he connects departments. So he connects our academy, Alex and Critch, um, with them. He connects uh, me and Jürgen, of course. He connects Julian Ward as the loan and Michael Edwards as the technical. So he, he's basically the connector of, uh, of, of these three parts of the club. Um, but... Uh, it's good. We're really happy that he's here. <laughs> yeah. Neil. The last round of Curtis Jones was obviously the man of the match. Yeah. James Mullen spoke afterwards and said he's seen a massive improvement. Yeah. What have you seen in terms of specific what, what has he got better at and how happy are you in the program? Yeah, Curtis is a boy from the city. And all these boys from the city and the academy, they have so much passion and they have so much ambition as well. Uh, so, um, that's one. Uh, play, playing for us, it's, uh, for example, take Tottenham game. Everybody speaks, we had the most shots on target, the best um, in two years. Uh, we, we were constantly under position half, playing, creating, crossing, tag. But the difference was made in the 30% we didn't have the ball. That's why we were able to play there. So how we were protected constantly, how our concentration and intensity was when we lost the ball. Our front three defended six players of Tottenham constantly, non-stop for 95 minutes. And these young boys, they have to make that step to be, uh, because other games it was say 50, 55% or 48 or whatever, but the difference in this game, but all the attention goes to the offensive part. But the difference is made, the only way we can be this offensive is the defensive attitude, the tactical discipline of our three midfielders, how they always close the centre and put pressure help the front three to the event was unbelievable. Our last line, high line controlling uh, Son and King constantly. That's not easy. Have a high line and controlling their movements. And at the same time, the focus of the last line to and be protected constantly and help the ball circulate from left to right. And So what I'm trying to say is that these boys all have talent. They are all creative. They are so good on the ball, they probably sleep still with the ball. But to make the next step, it's about how good are you in those 30%? Can you, with three players, defend six players of the opposition? And that attitude, that's Liverpool FC, because our identity is intensity. Yes, Chris. Yeah, but just then, obviously, that, that connection you used to be that connection. Yeah. When you're looking at a player, a teenage player, um, what I'm, what we are searching for. How do you identify it and know that it's going to be? It's a risk, really, isn't it? Someone's so young, but Harvey. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we have to be 100% convinced. That's one. Otherwise, we should not do it because that will not help. That will not help the talent. That's the most important. So, um, but you see a player who has, who learns really quick Melwood, who learns the values, who's very polite, who um, is a team player. Um, but you see something special in him because the, the game is so complex. You can have talent in so many different things. Um, and then, of course, it's about, okay, if we want to play in this way, what makes him different than the others? And that's what we have to see in him, an identity. And that's for each player different. And what we always want to see is these values, and what we always want to see is a, a hunger towards the ball. That if we lose it, get it back. 
because it's ours and uh, yeah so th that's basically it I think so there's certain values which should always represent or very important how the boy is it in terms of character passion ambition second it's um, he needs to understand our game because that's different than others that's why we think the academy is so important to develop this way of play so it doesn't come from here but it comes from the stomach and the third thing is the identity of the player itself. We have to see that identity constantly. And what I said, that can be really different. Harvey is a player who, who, who has a, a super play between the lines and can create. So you don't have that many players who can, but uh, example, you see, but you ha I, we have to see the identity constantly. Yeah. Maybe in, in the squad tomorrow, like, is it not, he's just sort of the two weeks suspension between that with him, whatever, is it too quick for him to come back or would you have no issues about including? No, he's ready. He's ready? Yeah. And how does he sort of cope with uh, such a... Uh, yeah. Again, I what the, what we said. Our club made a statement, so that's yeah. let that's take that. Um, um, we can't forget he's still only 16, of course. So we have to be careful with that. Um, um, but how I see him in since I work with him, I see a very educated boy, and I see a boy who's really passionate for the game. Yeah. But again, if you have if you have players around, if you come in here and you have Millie, Henderson, Lalana, Genie, Verge, <laughs> Bobby, all examples in different ways, players who never whine, never complain, never make excuses, in the hardest moments they never give up and they never give up our way and always put the team above themselves, then for a young player you can't have a better environment to develop and to grow and uh, for me that makes us uh, or any other team from a good team to a top team or a good team to a successful team yeah. and Dave the final one it, it is a chance you probably said for some of the players who have been on the fringe what, what, what the likes of say Oxley Chamberlain and, and Navi Cater who are big money buyers what, what do they have to do and how do you keep them sort of happy and motivated to, to make that step into the, the sort of first round when they're not? Uh, Ox, Ox, of course, is a, is a, it's a very s sad story, of course, with the injury, I mean. Um, but um, it was very important for us just before, how everybody knew, and we want to give him time and we know it will come. If he keeps his aggression defensively and offensively, how he can play, that real offensive aggression, then everything will, will come. But that needs time. An injury like that, it's not... Uh, but we saw already glimpses and we saw already really good phases. And for him, he said it himself as well. He wants to do it now for 95 minutes and for two times 95 minutes, that will be the next step. But he's very important for us because he gives a completely different... Uh, um, dynamic to um, create. So uh, Nabi uh, was unlucky with his injury this season. Um, a first year in the club of Liverpool with a new style with the Premier League. We all know, we all know that that takes time, but we can all see what a magnificent player he is and what he can do to our team, and especially in how to bring the ball into the final third and how to uh, disorganise opposition. So... Um, yeah. Important for both, but for every single player, is stay fit eh? and gain regularity and gain uh, consistency. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs>